I think the intriguing thing about this film is that that Facebook and so, or social networking as an idea is still a hypothesis, and and I think that people are still asking the question: Is it going to be something that makes us better, or something that makes us worse? This idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. Millions? You stole our website. They're saying we stole the Facebook. I know what it said. So did we? A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. You're going to get left behind. It's moving faster what than any of us ever imagined. Get left it behind. Let's sue him in federal court. And the themes are as old as storytelling itself of friendship and loyalty, betrayal, class, power, jealousy. These things that Aeschylus would have written about, Shakespeare would have written about, and Paddy Chayefsky would have written about. It's just lucky for me that none of those guys were available, so I got to write about it. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles? I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. The site got 2,200 hits within two hours? 1,000. 22,000. The movie, you know, is about the creation of Facebook, but at its core, it's about uh, these characters and, and kind of these timeless themes of, of friendship and betrayal and ambition, you know, intellectual property and greed. At 23, the youngest billionaire, what it took him to get there and also what he had to give up. And it kind of shows all the interconnecting lives of all these kids going through school, the way it is, social networking. As the Winklevoss characters, I had to believe that we came up with the seed idea that was Facebook and that guy Mark Zuckerberg stole it, you know? So it, it was interesting learning all this stuff that I had no idea about the, you know, genesis of Facebook. What's wonderful about this story is, is that it's a multi-perspective look at a very, very recent situation. When you see a film that works on sort of all levels, you really do realize that it starts with a great story and it starts with a great screenplay. And when you've got that, uh, kind of everybody falls in line. You know, you don't want to screw it up. You're being accused of intentionally breaching security, violating copyrights, violating individual privacy. Your best friend is suing you for $600 million.